Hello. This video is from colloidalsilverhowto.com and demonstrates the setup and use of the basic 12 volt DC colloidal silver generator that we sell on the site. Uh, you'll notice it's extremely simple. It's just a matter of sending low DC voltage through silver rods in distilled water in an electrolysis process. You'll read quite a bit on the website about how we've become far big, that we've become great fans of the nano silver, uh, colloidal silver process, and that we have demonstrated through testing and results that our nano silver, colloidal silver generators uh, are superior if, if, if not at least as good as virtually anything else you can purchase on the internet at a fraction of the price. But if you're accustomed to making colloidal silver through a simple transformer, silver rods, and distilled water, this is the setup for you, and it's all ready to go. If you opened, if you made your purchase, and you selected the addition of the silver rods, then you've received a jar along with your silver rods and a, and a cleaning pad for your silver. So if you've, if you've opened your box, this is what you'll find. You'll find, first of all, silver cap, which is uh, our design that we've had and we've been marketing for several years now. The caps are available on this side. If you have the jar, if you have the transformer, even if you have your silver, silver this cap is available for just a few dollars. Um, it, and it greatly enhances the ease with which you can make colloidal silver. When I first began making colloidal silver, I had my transformer. I had crimped on some alligator clips. I was using silver jewelers uh, silver, uh, from, from a jewelry store, trying to fold the silver over to keep it from falling over, touching each other, um, pulling out of the water completely. It was, it was just a real pain, but I put up with it for a long time. Then I uh, discovered silver, silver rods, ordered those, kind of went through the same thing, folded the rod over, put the clip down here, invariably the rod would try to flip out. It was kind of crazy. So uh, ideas, we began coming up with some ideas that would secure the rods, and this is the, the one that we uh, jumped on first. You'll notice that the silver rods uh, are going to be suspended in these rubber supports one inch apart, which is ideal for production. Simply insert the rods through the holes until the top of the rod is showing about a quarter of an inch. You might want to bend the rods until they're, so that they maintain that one inch distance. Screw the, fill your jar with water, of course, screw the lid on. Attach your alligator clips to the rods. Plug your transformer in and you're ready for production. It's really that simple, folks. And thank you for stopping by and please be in touch if you have any questions. Again, this is colloidalsilver.com, colloidalsilverhowto.com. Thank you.